Blackburn Enterprises. Thank you for coming to our channel. You could have been anywhere else, but you're here with me. Back with another recap and review video. I'm JB. I'm Ken. And today we're going to be recapping Bel Air Season 2, Episode 2. Yes. Bel Air Season 2, Episode 2. The Speaking Truth. Yeah. Yes. And this episode starts off with Will. And, um,. He's getting in his, uh, he's trying to feel himself a little bit, you know what I'm saying? He's trying not to listen to the coach, you yeah. know what I'm saying? He's trying to take things into his own hands and whatever. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I guess it ends up not working in his favor, I guess, in listening to the coach, even though he didn't want to. So what do you think about how the episode starts off when he tries to listen to the coach and it doesn't work out for him? Uh, he kind of thinks that, well, if we would have done it my way, we would end up winning. But we yeah. end up losing because I listened to the coach. Yeah, I think, um, of course, he has a, he's in high school, so he has a lot of influences around him. And I think um, the fact that he's at this um, prestigious school is causing him to feel like, oh, well, they don't value me as who I as um for what i can bring to the table but um he is also listening to this other side coach too that's in his ear about what he needs to do and what he not what he doesn't need to do right that's that's the interesting thing but uh well on one end is as when he does try to be a leader which i feel like he did it the right yeah, way he, did. he was trying to get everybody you know you know, pull everybody in, you know, be a leader of the team and they're not necessarily responding to it. So that probably is going to push him more so to the so AAU the coach, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, who, as you said, has kind of been, you know what I'm saying, the opposite of Jiminy Cricket, but been in his ear and kind of whispering mm -hmm. him, trying to get him to make those um, certain decisions and that certain decisions and he kind of pushes him to quote unquote let that West Philly out, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So what do, you, what, what do you think about that? And the fact that Finally, um, in this case, we see that Uncle Phil actually meets the sky. Yeah, I think that um, he can be a good or bad influence. I, I think I don't feel like his character is a, a positive character. I think he has some ulterior motives. I agree. And um, he needs to be careful with who he um, decides to listen to. That's true, and I think uh, Uncle Phil is going to make sure you know that he has his best in, best interest at hand. Mm -hmm. uh, but speaking of Uncle Phil, he kind of. Going back the, and forth this season. Yeah, well, yeah, I think, but I do like that because I feel like, you know, that's how people are. People are n normally not perfect or whatever. And then he ends up talking to Jeffrey. Finally. Uh, finally, because he yeah. was acting, you know, even when he seen Jeffrey at the game, he was kind of like, like, mm, thing, like you standoffish know. Standoffish Right, like he didn't want to look at yeah. him or whatever. But they did finally talk and, you know, and able to have a man-to-man -man talk and express, you know, what they felt, you know, the other did wrong and how they felt about everything. So how do you feel about them being able to sit down and I, have, have that man-to-man -man conversation? I think that was very mature of them. I think that that uh, was very necessary. And his wife been trying to tell him, like, okay, you got to understand where Jeffrey was coming from. Y'all might have got, sorry, have seen eye to eye in the situation, but, um... <sighs> Y'all might not have seen eye to eye in the situation, but um, you you still need to try to see his point of view. Yeah, this is true. And I think one of the main people that was actually trying to help them to see the other point of view, that was Aunt Bill. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so she was one of those main proponents for trying to push him and, you know, to open up and see that um, different side. And um, and as speaking of Aunt Bill, like she's continuing to deal with you know the situation with her work mm -hmm. and she feels like Reed which is the person that she's working with and he continues to kind of overstep her and you know you know not really include her in, right, like he just, said he would right and yeah. so what do you think about that and what do you think that's going to go as far as Reed is concerned as far as her you know trying to continue to go down you know down that road as far as trying to establish her career she's gonna have to get a little will in her and, <laughs> and, and west philly. yeah a little west philly in her mm -hmm. and, and try to take charge of the situation because right now she doesn't have control and um she really needs to like grab the horn by the bulls and get her stuff moving like she wants it to or it's not gonna happen i thought you grabbed the bull by the horn oh you, you did <laughs> Well, oh. but I, I know what you was trying to say. Yeah. But speaking of grabbing the bull by the horns, that's pretty much what she was doing when she was helping uh, young Ashley or whatever yes. in a particular situation that young Ashley was having with OG Ashley. Yes. And uh, uh, having with her teacher because he ends up having mm -hmm. a situation with her teacher because, uh, and we're sliding to that for uh, for a little bit because we do see that OG Ash and young Ashley continue to bond mm -hmm. and they continue to grow. And because of that grind and 
what am I saying? The bonding. Because of the bonding, like the bonding, bonding and growing. <laughs> bonding and growing, I guess, together. together yeah. But because they're doing, because of they do that, it, it's even more of a, uh, more of an impact when they find out that she actually gets fired. And so, um, Ann Vils is one of the uh, people that try to lead, you know, I guess it's like a faculty slash PTA, yeah, a PTA type yeah. meeting. And, yeah. you know, they're definitely trying to stand up for her. So what do you think about Aunt Viv uh, stepping up for OG ass? And what do you think about how young ass wanted to, you know, wanting to do something because she doesn't want to stand for OG ass being fired? I really like how uh, Bel Air shows how we black living in America. And I think that that's uh, one of the very important um, things about this season that they're highlighting. Like, our voices matter, and um, we have to stand up for what we believe in, or we're going to fall for anything. Mm -hmm. I definitely agree. And it's actually hitting close to home because it's like they're (coughs) fine, excuse me, they're firing her because quote unquote I guess recommending books, books that are not on the books. approved list or whatever and we're definitely dealing with that in, in real life in real especially life. if you're in Florida and you're here in, too uh, alright oh, well, you're in Tennessee too yeah. now you know what I'm saying but they're definitely mm-hmm. dealing with that a lot of places where people are complaining and complaining and about getting the their feelings because they want to complain about you know the books or people because they want to they want to whitewash you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. basically you know what, I'm what happened in the past and that's uh, definitely the situation here in the system. So, um, uh, how do you feel about them, you know, basically using a narrative that is pretty much hit hit home and is currently going on in the U.S. right now? It really ticks me off because I am a teacher, an educator. Mm-hmm. And um, I just think it's unfair and un- I, I just don't even know. Boy, in 2023, I don't understand why we are here at this point right now in the world. It's really disheartening. Well, uh, well, on to a better conversation and being mm. to a certain point. It looks like Carlton to the point where he might be lowering, he better. Uh, like he's lowering his meds and he's, yeah. uh, he's encouraging his parents to do so. And the, you know they're doing the research. They're talking with the doctor, and it looks like they're going to take the steps to actually do that. And um, as with the first episode, when this episode we continue to see Carlton kind of flourish, you know, what I'm saying kind of even enjoying himself. He goes to a party and he's at, he's actually talking to uh, ladies and he's actually enjoying himself. Yeah, he having a and good so, time. And we, you know, we see him being smart and he's flourishing. You know what I'm saying? We get to get more into his character. So mm-hmm. what do you think about seeing Carlton flourish? Oh, I love it. I mean, we did not like Carlton for uh, se- season one and uh, just recently started liking him. So I think that he's coming into himself and that him getting off, him making the adult decisions to get off his meds and to, um, you know, live in his truth is very um, commendable of him. Right, and you can even see, like, in, in his relationships, you see yeah. him and Will are back on a closer uh, connection. You see even him and Lisa are actually mm-hmm. talking. And so... I like how, you know, he's like he's right now it's like he's flourishing on all aspects. Again, mm-hmm. it's a short amount of time, but you know, it's definitely a big turnaround from, you know, where he was going uh, last season. So um, where he is the now. interesting thing about that though, um, is this might be a trigger in what he's going through now because you see his smartness and you see, you know, the idea of what's going on with OG Ash and them yeah. stepping up and Will stepping into that to kind of, you know, make the decision to try to protest and mm-hmm. whatnot. And one of the teachers kind of steps in and talks to him on the side and yeah, it's like, like well, hey, basically, we, like, are you sure you want to do this? On the line. Right. Yeah. And so I feel like that's going to put him in a situation where he's going to be dealing with a lot of anxiety and trying to figure mm-hmm. out what what's can he do, what's the do. best way, what's the road What's the road that I go down. What do you, what do you think about that? Yeah, um, I think that you're exactly right. It's not going to be good for his anxiety. It's not going to be good for his persona because he does have a persona. He has, um, he's been at this school. Well, here's the thing with his persona, though. I think a lot of times, I think, you know, even in the, the, the Black Business Club, I'm just going to call it that right now because mm-hmm. I can't think of the name, but mm-hmm. a lot of them were looking kind of side-eyeing him because they felt like that he didn't really Fit speak up or on speak, or didn't oh, really yeah. speak up when it came to black issues. Yeah. But then he came back and was like, well, a lot of times y'all just talking about it and not being about yeah. it. So. so he's going to be, I think he's going to be dealing with a double mind and trying to figure out like what's the best way to handle this situation because I want to be there for my family and my sister and I want to do what's right as well, but I don't want it to affect my persona well speaking of affecting uh our overall persona uh, uh, i guess towards the end of this uh episode we see that um 
uh, that Hillary and Jazz, or Hillary more so, makes the decision to allow her parents to meet Jazz. And mm-hmm. um, it seems like they were, you know, they're conversing and sometimes they're differing on um, what exactly they want to do, how they want to go about doing it. Even the whole situation where uh, she, I guess he kind of let Hillary borrow his car mm-hmm. and, you know, that could have been a big blow up, yeah. but it wasn't even necessarily a big blow up. They kind of Work you know, through it kind and of talk work, through it. Yeah, they kind of work through it and talk through it. But I don't know if this situation with her parents is just going to be so easily to be no. talked through. Because yeah. you can definitely see from the very get-go that they, are, they, both, are, not feeling they are incredibly thrown off by yes. the idea of so Jazz and being Hillary together. being together. So yeah. what, what do you think about that? I mean, we um, that I like how they're staying true to the original um, show with mm-hmm. that. Because they same thing happened with Jazz and Hillary. They come from t- two different sides of the track. Mm-hmm. And so, of course, they want their daughter married millionaire or, or you know somebody that's already well established mm-hmm. and jazz is not that but um they might spin it to where you know they are more accepting of him than they were on the original i, I don't, don't see it you don't i don't think see so? it if, I, if i'm a bed man i would say that you know Aunt Bill will actually be, get him give him a chance but yeah she's the one i don't think she's more i don't think Uncle, Uncle Uncle Phil Phil is gonna yeah. be having him like he's he, he probably gonna be set in his ways yeah you know what I'm saying uh, and not really wanting them to be together or feeling like oh well you can do better can do type better situation him, right. so right. it's going to be interesting to see where that goes and what you know if their relationship will be able to withstand um, the struggle that that comes from the parents and not necessarily agreeing wholeheartedly with them being together yeah um, this, the, we can, um, we're going to see what's going to go on with OG Ash you know are they going to protest and are they going to be able to get her a job back Mm -hmm. and are there going to be any big ramifications of them protesting and and more specific when it comes to Carlton Carlton. and and what is it what is it going to do to him Mm -hmm. and um what what decisions is Will going to make because I feel like this scout is not going anywhere Mm -hmm. and especially with the way things are with the basketball team they're going to continue to push him away and it looks like the the decision for him is going to be well to quit like school the basketball ball team play AAU ball. Ba- basketball team's not, yeah. not messing with me so I might as well go this route but, mm-hmm. but that's going to be interesting to see how that goes and it's going to be uh, also interesting to see what's going to happen with um, Jeffrey since he's back in the house and, yeah what um, is his job right you know what I'm saying he seems like he's getting back yes. to the swing of things but yes. how is that going to look with him being back in the house mm-hmm. and and uh, the, the forgotten lady, like I said, um, with little Ashley, like how is this whole idea, how is this going to affect her? Because she is really the, the little spark that kind of starts this whole protest because she's the one that told her mom, was like, you know, we, this is we, what happened. This with is what happened. And, and so yeah. it's going to be interesting to see, you know, the youngest person in the household, you know, she's going to have what it takes in order to, to step out and let her voice be heard. Yes. All right, so if you want to go ahead and do us a favor, hit that thumbs up button. We definitely appreciate it, and it helps out the channel. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, bruh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We definitely appreciate it, and you can see more videos like this one. And if you want to go do us another favor, you want to go ahead and hit that button that's shaped like a bell. If you want to go ahead and do that, you'll get a notification. Every time we drop a new video. Every time we drop a new video. And if you want to go ahead and do us one more favor, you want to go ahead and comment down below. And what should they comment? How do you go about invoking change? How do you go about invoking change? It's a big word right there. All right, we appreciate every single one of you. And guess what? Holla at you. Peace. Peace.